Hey there, Chad here. And in this video, I want to show you some of the new changes that have come to Chibi AI recently. And then I'll show you a quick workflow that you might use to start working in Chibi and get your content created pretty quickly while also maintaining a really high um, quality standard that you want to deliver to your readers. So, I mean, that is the ultimate goal. You know, Chibi is a writing tool. It's not a writing replacement for you. So, uh, I've tried to build him in a way that he just augments you as the writer to ultimately create something awesome for your readers. And so recently there's been a lot of changes. He's he's grown up quite a bit. He's he's officially one month old today, at least one month publicly available. And uh, so recently some of the big changes that have come, if you haven't checked out Chibi before, then all this is going to be new to you. But if you have tried Chibi in the past, there's going to be quite a few things here that look a little different. And that is over here in this topic box area this row of green buttons here i call them the core workflow buttons and that's because it's things like write seed flow pathways and finish now the core the thinking that i have here for these core workflow buttons is is as you're in your content you know you're writing and sometimes you just want chibi to write something that's really on point it's it's focused on the topic and you want to give him enough room to finish what you you started for him, like if you start a lead and let him finish. Um, but maybe he'll also give you a couple of extra sentences out of that. That's what the write button is for. It uses the content, the context of the editor, what you've written inside of the document already, combined with the topic box to really make sure that he stays right there on, on topic with you. The seed button is something to kind of give you a kickstart off of a topic or keywords or something like that. And the seed, the seed button doesn't care about anything that's inside of the topic. I mean, sorry, inside of the document at all, like over here. Like right now it's it's empty. This is just a placeholder there while there's nothing in the, in a new, this is a brand new document. So um, for the seed though, it does use what's in the topic box and that's the only thing that the seed uses. So you can take advantage of that throughout your workflow and I'll show that to you after I explain some more of this UI here. Then follows that is the flow button. This is the one where if you want Chibi to just take off and do his own thing and he'll follow patterns and all these other kinds of things that are in your content and he doesn't use the topic at all. All he uses is the context of the, of the stuff that you have in your document already, the things you've already written. And so he just kind of riffs off of that stuff a little bit differently than the regular write button does. And you can end up producing some really interesting things with him that way as well. The pathways button, this tool is here for giving you a couple of quick ideas. You know, like when you're, let's say that you're writing your, your article, you're, you're two thirds of the way in and, and you've got this subsection inside of your content that you want to finish off, but you're just like, it doesn't feel like it's got enough meat to it. You know, you know, like you just kind of want to get a little bit more content to it, but you're stuck. You just, you can't think of what you want to add. The pathways button is there for you to just click it when you're at that point. And Chibi will give you a couple of ideas to write about in that moment inside of your, your article. So, you know, he'll, he'll kick out a couple of things, you know, that are just a couple of ways that you might think about taking your content. Um, and the thing, the, the thing to think about there is it's the, the pathways button is not really intended to, you know, be two things of content that you're going to use. Although the content could be something that's up, to, up to speed or up to par for what you want to keep in your document, but it's there to give you a couple of ideas to spur your thinking and your creativity to help you keep moving and flowing through your document quickly. And then you have the finish button. This is the same thing as the write button, except that he'll stop at the end of the sentence. He won't continue on. So if you just want, you know, to work until you get to the finish of the sentence, use that one and Chibi will stop right there. One more thing to note about the these core workflow buttons is that they change depending on the mode that Chibi's in. And the mode can be seen under this here. Right now in article mode. So article mode, Chibi is the least creative, right? And and by creative, I mean <laughs> He'll, he'll try to use more descriptive language. He'll focus on what it is that you want more, more directly versus maybe using, you know, words that are sort of maybe uh, tangent to what your current topic is. And, and um, you know, in essence, that's kind of what creativity is, I suppose. But um, it kind of focuses in more to be a descriptive kind of personality. And as you move up through these 
in, in story mode is new, by the way. Nobody knows about this until just now. <laughs> um, so you have copywriting, persona, and then ultimately up to story. And as you move up these modes, these core workflow buttons gain creativity. They, they actually change a little bit behind the scenes to make them function just a little bit differently. So if you're ever in your content and you feel like, you know, you're not, you're not getting quite what you want because it's maybe not, not creative enough or he, he seeps in, in article mode, he keeps on kind of, you know, pointing towards the same type of content and you want him to do something different. Try changing the modes and see what happens uh, that will free up him to be more creative, ultimately leading to story where he's like the most creative he can possibly be compared to the other ones. But for now on live Chibi, you have article copywriting and persona where persona is the most creative mode. Okay. So that's that. I don't need to show that anymore. Um, so yeah, these core workflow buttons, those are the ones that you're going to be using for most of your content. And then down here is the, the formula buttons we call them. And they're the tools that kind of give you certain types of content, right? Like if you want a list, you click list. Um, in this case, Chibi has how to list and features list. So if you, if you want, if you have like a, you know, how to make a homemade apple pie is your, is your lead and you want a how to list, you can click how to list to get that outline does what it's supposed to do. It gives you an outline of your content and summarize will take a, a, a maybe, I don't know, a paragraph and a half of content or so and summarize it into a single sentence. That's its job. And these buttons here change if you didn't know. Actually, let me go back up to here. These change when you change modes. So under article mode, these are the tools that you have. When you switch to copywriting, you see these. These are like uh, marketing, uh, what is it? Uh, copywriting formulas, ADA, PASS, BAB, that kind of thing. There's a list of benefits, which are supposed to be like the list of emotional benefits that someone might get from your product or service. Persona is, it's got some things in there to help you write a persona story. And this mode is going to be enhanced in the future too. Right now, this is what you get uh, under this mode, but, and I'm not going to show a story just yet. So here we go. We're going to stay in article mode for pretty much this whole, the whole rest of this. Um, a couple more things to note. The new stuff, you saw me toggling these things on and off. If you need your tools here, this is you click on this to keep the tools here. When you start a new document, that will be on by default. And if you don't ever use these really, you can click that and this will go away. This is the document info. So things like the reading score, number of words, characters, the reading time and stuff like that will all be here. And this is actually the Fleisch Kincaid algorithm that determines the score based on what the what they came up with um, from their their studies from their research um, kind of the standard that's used out there um, for a reading score and you can toggle that off this is help if you want to know what all the key the keyboard commands you just click on this pops up it shows you all the keyboard shortcuts the mouse modifiers because some of those tools that are up there if you hold down shift or you hold down alt or something like that they'll change depending on when, what you're holding down when you click them and also you get a few links into the community where you can get some more help or work with other Chibi users to find new ways and interesting things that you can use Chibi for. And that's uh, pretty much it. Of course, this can toggle too if you don't want to, if you don't ever really use them. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and see what it might look like uh, for a, a pretty decent workflow. So you'll notice that all these buttons and stuff are kind of grayed out. They're, you can hover over them, but they don't actually do anything when you click on them, right? And so the, the idea there is that Chibi is gonna, not going to let you kind of, he's going to kind of guide you, right? Because right now it's a brand new document. There's no context at all. There's literally nothing, right? So clicking a button to have the AI write at this point in time wouldn't really produce anything. So that's why everything's kind of grayed out. So the first thing I would do is just start with a topic. And I'm just going to use starting your first garden. I don't know. I'm not a gardener, so... Um, this is going to be me kind of winging it a little bit. Probably when you're writing your content, you're going to be writing about something that you're a professional with or a subject matter expert for. And this and this will just be way easier for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and notice that the seed button has lit up. The seed button requires at least seven characters to be written here in the topic. The other buttons are still grayed out because what they need is about 25 characters in your document. Right? So... And that you can see that here it says, or write at least 25 characters to start your document. But we're going to go ahead and use the seed button. The seed button is going to write those first couple of sentences here. First thing you need to focus on when writing your, when starting, when writing, when starting your first garden is deciding what you want to grow. 
modifying your living habits can help you achieve your goal. Okay, cool, cool. Now, when you're doing your content, of course, change that, edit it, fix it up to your style and your standards um, and go from there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use Flow, which is Command Shift F on a Mac and get Chibi to just add a little bit more content there. All right. <laughs> I don't need this part here, so we'll take that away. Okay. So one of the first things, um, you, what are I guess let me back up a little bit. What are the components of a of an article, right? You got like an intro, um, probably a. Of course, you got intro, body, and conclusion. But inside of the body, you've got probably sections, and usually those will come from maybe an outline or something, right? So we'll we can we can do this in a couple of ways. You could try to have Chibi produce like the whole outline. Um, starting your first garden. Um, this might not produce exactly what, what we want, but I'm going to just go ahead and let Chibi see what he does with the outline. And let's see what comes up. Research, consider your space. So, okay. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to use one of the tools here. I'm going to actually go up here, get my tools open, and highlight this. And I'm going to use the, the list clean tool to clean up that list and get my sections started. So if I used research, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and hit command enter, which will put that word into the topic. So anything you select and hit command enter will put it into the topic box for you. But if I if I click on seed right now and seed only uses the topic box, right? So it'll it'll try and write something based on the word research. So that doesn't mean anything to Chibi, right? So uh, we would say Research your garden, maybe. Research your garden, home garden, home garden options. Let's just say, I'm gonna come right here and then I'm gonna click on seed again so that Chibi can seed this section. Yeah, okay. Like it's a it's a past time. That's probably what we're gonna be shooting for. And here it says, here are some ways you can do research before your next trip to the garden. <laughs> Garden store, maybe. Um, okay, so that section is started. And so the, the gist of this workflow is I've got a, I got the, the heading, the top part of your article. The body would be all of this. And then you would have a conclusion down here, right? Let's just do something, something like that, just to label it. Now, in, in Chibi, it does support mark Markdown. So you could do something like this if you wanted to. I would be just be a little bit careful with that and not use it until maybe you're a little bit closer to the end because the flow button might actually be impacted by it because he'll he likes to follow patterns. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and, and let's just test it. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and use this, um, which, by the way, if um, you save the document and then you go here, you can actually preview that to see what that's going to look like in, a, in at the end result. And go back to edit and so, okay now we got consider space climate and water access so again this is one of those things where the, the, the context doesn't mean a lot right consider your space climate and water access uh, for your garden you need to make sure that chibi is aware that you're talking about a garden if you're going to use the seed button that is like i am so i'm gonna go back here click on seed and this just lets chibi get these sections started for you okay excellent okay research and we're gonna see. Okay, so maybe during research and stuff, we'd say, "Oh, we got set time and budget here. Let's use that. We'll go here. Set time and budget for your for your garden. We'll let Chibi uh, plant that seed again." <laughs> Oh, uh, it's talking about certain types of vegetables now or plants that you're going to grow, but that's fine. So maybe we want to know like, um, uh, the tools needed to garden at home. And then we'll use the list. I'm going to use list test just because I want to see what the differences are from, for my purposes. Okay. So we've got the different, we got a list of the different tools and stuff that you might need. And you can, of course, go through and start expanding upon those. And, you know, let's put this here. Um, notice that that's a list. And I can actually do something like this. Do a 
something like this and save we go up here preview so you can see we have got a list and everything like that but preview helps you just kind of take a look and see what it looks like overview of your of your document as you're going and you can copy the HTML version of this if you want to just click here and it'll copy it and if you paste this into like a WordPress blog or something it'll keep all the formatting and everything for you and um, okay so now we've got some more sections I'm not really going to go through all of these things but um, you know choose the choose let's say the seeds for your garden wisely we're gonna put that into the topic box come down and then if we go up here and we look seed is shift command s so instead of coming back up here to click it every time you can just come here and hit this keyboard shortcut yep not all seeds are, are, are equal some seeds might need and let's let chibi write let's command enter yep all right very nice very nice and we might say how to pick uh, good seeds for your garden let's click the how to button here oh actually yeah it's pretty smart <laughs> talk to gardens who have nice or talk talk to neighbors who have nice gardens and stuff yeah okay um let's go ahead and just capitalize this and we can make this a subsection of this one an h3 because it's three ha uh, three hashtags there um let's go ahead and look at the document info panel here we got 69 reading score now it's green because as long as it's over 65 then that means that you've got a, a, a nice easy to read uh, article of course if you're trying to target to a lower grade um maybe kids or something you want to reach as high as to a uh, close to 100 as you can we've got 427 words written and um, one pa one page and this is calculated based off of the average of 500 words per page so one page um okay so as you can see we're kind of flowing through this pretty easily and this is a h2 section here Let's go ahead and, and do a quick preview again before I close off this video and just see that this is sort of what we're what we're getting started in this in this article. Now, I'm going through it pretty fast, right? I'm not really paying attention to the output. I mean, I'm a little bit. Um, it, it seems like it's pretty good. If I was a gardener uh, writing this to help my readers start their first garden, then this would be something that I think would be pretty good. I think. <laughs> um, I hope. Um, I mean, it's not a topic that's completely foreign to me, but I have never grown my own garden. Uh, yeah, so I would I would think that this is a pretty good workflow to go through and get your content. Um, in in some ways, it's the AI dance. In other ways, it's a it's a little bit of of Chibi doing some work for you, like when you use these tools down here, and. You work together, collaborate, and at the end of the uh, of your work, probably what have we been? This is like maybe ten minutes. Part of it was spent with me um, going through all the different new parts and stuff. You know, in about maybe 20, 30 minutes, you can have your fifteen hundred, two thousand word article done, or at least a, a rough draft of it. And the more that you work and collaborate with GBI as you go through all this, the more done it will be at the end of it. Instead of, you know crafting a whole bunch of stuff through some kind of automation tool or something and ending up with a pile of content that you need to look through and review this since you're going through this step by step as you as you're writing it you ultimately end up with higher quality content one because you've already done a lot of the editing and two is as you if you edit as you go chibi starts catching on to what your voice is starts using some of the same jargon and lingo that you use and kind of and if you use the flow button He'll actually follow your patterns and stuff in your writing and stuff too. So at the end of that, you'll ha have a higher quality article for your readers. And of course, if you have any questions, head over to the Chibi community where we've got a pretty thriving community there that's doing a lot of cool stuff with Chibi AI. And um, Or you could drop a, a comment in the comment below this video. No problem at all. Either way, I'll check it out and try and see what I can do to help you out. Until next time, take care.